breakers bracket I'm gonna put some copper paste on this I think afterwards like so and then let's undo the the um, caliper that's uh, 13 and 17 and we are going that way So if you don't know, this is the brake pad uh, wear sensor. So it can be good to change out the pads before this uh, goes because it, I think it's about uh, six, seven hundred Norwegian kroners, so uh, 50 pounds for one uh, one of those uh, of those sensors. So that's one to the other one down here. It loose and then hold counter with the 17. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I have like a electric uh, wrench, like a Milwaukee one. Uh, maybe need to buy one. To do the jobs like this, so much faster and easier. Let's lose. <laughs> Let's see where did the go. Oh, cook, 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 cook. Then we have uh, our hook, hook tool, works pretty good, let's see, get this off. Uh, I've forgotten something, yeah, A sensor. <laughs> Okay, so I'm not sure. I forgot to put. Do you remember to put off the sensor? Ah, oh, jeez. So maybe I broke the sensor now. It's more about talking and not doing the job, so I'm gonna screw up that sensor. Let's see, sensor, sensor, sensor. No, well, it looks still good, so yeah, I'm probably lucky. So you can see the sensor sits here. Um, as it sits here and when it um, start to uh, to grind down it will hit the sensor at the end and then it will uh, short um, and um, I'll either short or just cut the uh, I'm not sure how it how it uh, if it's if it's on or off but uh, yeah I will notice that this is getting um, wear down and then the sensor will show the alert inside the car let's see there's pads so 
bit of wear on the inside on this pad. There is just yeah. okay. So uh, I think I've been running with these too long now. So uh, shame on me. Okay, so now it's the burst bolts there. So you can clean them off a bit. So these bolts sit like, yeah. Let's not say it out loud. This is a bit better because I can use my weight, I hope.
Because this one, this bolt was even worse than the other ones on the other side. So. This beer, sure. I'm just glad they came loose. Need to, it's getting pretty late already, so just need to get this done so it's ready for tomorrow. So that's the bracket off. Now we can uh, take the brake disc off. Uh, let's see. With the Torx. Oh, hoo -hoo -hoo. okay, so that's uh, in there pretty good. Hoping the hammering is going to loosen it up a bit. <sighs> it did not. Okay, I don't want to do, overdo this. I want to check if I have a torque that's a bit bigger. <sighs> yeah. T50, not uh, 45.
be sure to use the, <laughs> the right bits. It is. that on there only one way to put it on retaining bolt let's see where did the there it is no. mm. oh, Torque it up. Thirty five new meters. So then we can do the um, caliper bracket, caliper holder bracket. bracket.
taking those off. And just make sure they are nice and clean. So when you go to put in the, uh, these uh, sliding, I don't know, sliding shims, that they are proper seated, uh, or else they're gonna be too tight. They're gonna press against and also press against from the top or the bottom. And uh, if the brake pads don't slide easy enough they're gonna hold and be on the brake so if you when you let go of the brake there the pads are still going to, to not they're not gonna slide back they're gonna still gonna be against the disc and then you get premature wear on the pads and uh, the disc yeah so we need to put this back on and they are as we are using, reusing the old, uh, old uh, bolts, we need to add some thread lock, and that's uh, not just a tad like so. Let's do the other one like so. And as I said, 275 newtons, so it's. Uh, it's a lot. To the top one. See if you can find that pretty nicely, like so.
like so, and then <laughs> torque it up. I don't have a torque wrench that goes that far, so I'm just gonna give it all I got because 270 newtons is a lot. So, let's see, with the brake helper uh, uh, bracket in place, we can add the pads, do the same thing here, just add a pad of uh, So and the same on the other side. So that in place. Then we need our new bolts for the caliper and we need to push back the pistons in the, in the caliper itself. But as we did on the other side, we're gonna put it back on on the lower end. So, you can just gently lie there. <sighs> Push it. On that side,
Okay, so the pistons are pushed back and it should go over the pads. Uh, let's see. Oh. I think this one came a bit out. Oh. So when I push in one, the other came, comes out a bit. Um, so let's see if we can come to that somehow. It looks good, but uh, let's see. Let's um, uh, I'm going to talk up this. Talk, talk, talk. <laughs> Toy setting is uh, 25. Torques up, then it's just a bracket. Let's turn off the compressor. <sighs> torque up, torque up, and bracket. Supposed to the stair brake sensor is connected. It's 
moving freely. This is torqued up, ready. Okay. Pros. And light.
Yep, so done with the uh, done with the front disc pads. Uh, kind of an uh, okay job. Uh, uh, hardest part is getting the, the bracket bolts, uh, the caliper bracket bolts off because uh, there are 270, 75 newtons. Uh, so uh, yeah, pretty hard to get it. But resetting the discovery has started. Front. It's uh, done. Next up is the rear discs and pads and also the uh, parking brake pads and uh, yeah, getting in the EPB to uh, EPB, emergency parking brake, to, uh, to work again. Uh, so yeah, on my way on my Overland build.